Hello YouTubers, welcome back my friends. In this video I'd like to show you my PEMF circuit here and show you how it's working, how it's performing. So I end up bringing 12 volt into this circuit instead of having this resistor here and a zener I have removed them and I added a 12 volt into here and here so okay so I'd like to go over components that I'm using for this uh, circuit here um, well I don't have a 70 volt uh, transformer but I have 120 volt transformer and so I will go ahead and use 120 volt uh, for this test also here as you can see large capacitor bank of course your capacitors are gonna be much smaller these are 500 volt capacitors and it's a big capacitor bank here it's not designed for this pulser but i am gonna use uh, five capacitor half of this capacitor bank uh, for this circuit here and half of the capacitor bank will end up to be 30,000 microfarad each one is 6,000 microfarad 500 volt but in this circuit we're only going to be charging them to about 150 volt all right this is my diet bridge it consists out of 60 amp diodes then i have a pulse whip modulator i have a button you can latch this button and I have my coil this is 2 ohm coil made out of 14 gauge wire internal diameter 1 inch external 5 inches weighs close to 10 pounds this is the PEMF 1B printed circuit board assembled with components on it and heat sinks all ready to go okay so let's give it a test okay in this test I have a lot of a box with uh, bland rivets and they're halfway metal, halfway aluminum, so we can test them out. Um, this box weighs about two pounds. It's pretty heavy. And so let's uh, give it a test. Let's put 12 hertz uh, and increase the duty to about 20%. Here is the button that I will push to activate it. Okay, oh, let me show you something. Check this out. See that? Let me get higher frequency. Do it again. That's just one demonstration.
higher you go on a duty, I'm sorry, on a frequency, uh, the less power it puts out. And let's go 600. Two, three, four, five, six. You see, it's barely lifting it. All right, guys, let's see if it's gonna bend aluminum. This is a 20 gram, 64 layer aluminum foil. Let's place it over 1 hertz, 20%. That's where it puts out the most. And let's go ahead and do it. All right, just a second here. Let me count three. One, two, three. There it was, ain't nothing. Then bend it. One, two, three. Yeah, it did a little bit. It did bend it a little bit. No, it didn't bend it. it. Didn't bend it. So this pulser is not strong enough to bend aluminum. But let me show you this. This is from my BBM pulser. 6s putting out 3.9 tesla i had three stack three stacks of them and that's how much they were bent in one pulse but unfortunately this pulser cannot bend it one more time that's it now doesn't have enough power to bend it so just showing you guys how it is all right guys let's take some measurements so we know where we at first measurement will be taken at one hertz frequency 20 percent duty have my tesla meter ready to go here's my probe i count three one two three all right so we're getting 0 0.4 0 0.404 0 0.44 tesla that's uh, 4400 gus <clears throat> that's at one hertz let's go ahead and increase the frequency to 10 hertz take a measurements and increase the duty to 30 percent okay I'm gonna reset this value here and I count three one two three here we are 0.44 same amount same amount of power 
at 10 Hertz okay with the 30% duty let's go ahead and increase the frequency to 100 Hertz and we'll keep the duty at 30% on account 3 reset the volume one two three okay point two one two tesla guys point two tesla that's two thousand gas all right so let's go ahead and increase to 600 hertz which is the maximum limit that this circuit is designed to work okay and we'll keep duty at 30 percent all right, let's take one more measurements. On account three. One, two, three. All right, so we're getting 1,820 gas at 600 hertz, 30%. Also, guys, what I'm gonna do is I will uh, decrease the duty to to five percent, and we'll take a measurements at each of those uh, at 600, 110, and one hertz at five percent duty. So let's take a measurements with first 600 uh, hertz. Count three. One, two, three. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Point zero three eight. So three hundred eighty gas uh, coming out at five percent, six hundred hertz. Let's decrease the frequency to one hundred hertz. okay and reset the volume and take a measurements count three one two three one two three all right so at five percent um it's zero point three eight so 380 gas coming out at 5% 100 hertz and let's let's decrease it down to uh, 10 10 hertz 5% reset volume take a measurement here we are so now we're getting 1720 gas coming out um, at 10 hertz and 5% duty. And now I'd like to go down to 1%, 1 hertz. And we'll keep it at 5%. And we'll take in one more measurement. Count three. One. Two, three. All right. Now we're getting 0.439 Tesla, guys. At five percent duty and one hertz. So now you know roughly how much you're gonna get from this circuit and how it performs. Uh, let me tell you the heat sinks are cold cold and this kids heat sink is pretty much cold uh, Transformer is cold and capacitors don't get hot. So everything stays cool except the coil coil is the only thing that heats up 
all right you guys if you like this video give me thumbs up subscribe hit the bell and i'll see you in the next one